A mother's walking down the street with her five-year-old, Queens, New York. A man runs up, grabs the kid, grabs the little boy, runs over to the car and tries to shove him in. Imagine how you'd be feeling. They try to get the young man out. And fortunately, right before the guy's able to start his car, they pull the little human out of the car back to safety. Boom, what's going on you guys? Byron Rogers, Tactical Protection Review. Learn protection strategies from a protection professional. What do we see right here? You know, what's going on here? First and foremost, like as we deconstruct the situation, by now you guys have got to start to realize, right? What I'm saying is true. Transitional spaces, transitional spaces, transitional spaces. Where is this family right now as they're making this movement? This family is conducting a movement over what this is all transitional space. All of this, this is a transitional space. Why are transitional spaces important? Because they're the spaces that you have to traverse, that you have to travel when you're going from A to B. These are the spaces you're most, you are most vulnerable in. And these are the spaces when the wolf will choose to attack you. While you're rolling through these spaces, you have to have more situational awareness. You don't know what's normal, what's not normal. You don't have any baseline of understanding of your environment. So it's easier for the wolf to blend in and they know this. So this is where they hit you. Gas stations, uh, moving from your house to your car, from your car to your house, walking from your work to your vehicle, back from your vehicle to your house. Now, transitional spaces exist on a micro level, on a small level, uh, driving home after work, driving to work. But transitional spaces also exist on a macro level. So traveling uh, from California to New York, that's a big, huge movement, big transitional space. A lot of vulnerability in there if you don't know what you're doing, right? So the other thing is, ladies and gentlemen, how far away is this little boy here who's the target, how far away is he from his mom, you know? And this guy runs up and tries to get this little boy. How far away is he? How many times have we heard or tried to tell someone, hey, you need to make sure the kids are closer. Hey, you need to make sure you've got an eye on things. Hey, you need to make sure, you know, don't let them go outside. You know, how many times have you tried to tell people to pay closer attention and they're always like, oh no, you know, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's I, I can see him, like I can see him. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to understand that now the world is different. You know, these people are outside in broad daylight, broad daylight, broad daylight, middle of uh, the city and people are snatching children that are, looks like one arm's reach away from their mom. Okay, so the little kid runs up ahead and I'm not trying to put fear into you, but I'm trying to give you some information from reality, you know, that you guys, we need to be paying attention to our surroundings. We need to be paying attention to our children. We need to keep a close eye on our children. We need to keep our children close. We need to learn the art of personal protection and self-defense in order to protect our children. It's extremely important. Everything, 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 their lives. They need to learn personal protection. They need to learn when to be paying attention. They need to learn context. They need to learn tactical positioning. You know, they need to learn uh, rolling risk assessments. You know, they need to learn these arts that I'm talking to you about. So videos like this, share them with anyone you love because everyone you love can use more situational awareness and more potent and effective situational awareness, not just, oh, I'm situationally aware. Like, what does that really mean? What are you really looking for? What's gonna help you stay left of bang, right? So videos like this, do that. And you don't have to go out and train at the range to get this information that can save your life, right? Um, what else do we see here? Little guys walking up. Now, the, you know, this is an old school thing. This is a gentleman thing, right? Gentlemen stand on the side of the road facing the moving, the, the actual street. This is the way it's supposed to be. And this mom's not doing a bad job. You know, she's got a whole kind of convoy of children that she's trying to manage. But ideally, when you're walking uh, and you're, one side of you is exposed to the street, that's generally where the threat's gonna come from. And the other side of you is storefronts or walls. Yes, you do need to pay attention to those doorways as you pass them, but you wanna have a lot of your awareness 
out here to the street side because that's generally where your threats are gonna come from. You can see that they are crossing like an alleyway up here. Yeah, that's a moment when you do wanna make sure you look to the left, look to the right, and you do check that alleyway as you go past that alleyway. But um, ideally, like when we talk about tactical positioning, right, context tactical positioning, you really wanna be paying attention to what is out here in this dead space, who's in their cars, who, most importantly, who is watching you? That's really where you, the, the game recognizes game. You know, the predator rec recognizes, predators recognize each other, right? So who is watching you on the roadside? This is a huge way to pick up on those target indicators in order to understand. And then rolling risk assessment, you just are paying attention to who's in that environment and what's going on in that environment, base, uh, uh, understanding a baseline of behavior in that environment as you walk through that environment slowly, who stands out, who looks like they're not supposed to be here. Uh, now you're looking at their waist and you're looking at their intentions, you're looking at what they're paying attention to. Uh, people who are locals in an environment pay attention to anomalies in their environment. So if you're paying attention to the people in your environment and they all start running or they all start moving or they're all looking at one person, you can get social cues and download social cues in your environment they can help you plan your next move and stay left of bang, avoid situations like this, um, and ultimately keep yourself, your family, uh, your clients, your principals, or those you've sworn to uphold and protect a lot safer. Download our free training guide at GoProtectorNation.com or come and train with us at this upcoming Protector Symposium. Uh, I can't wait. We're, we're making the world a safer place by helping good people become more dangerous, more willing, capable, and prepared. This is Byron Rogers, Protector by Nature and by Trade, reminding you to be peaceful but not harmless. Out. Oh.